Well, welcome back, Wastelander Solcoin here, the Savvy Survivalist. And we're going to talk about today a little bit about farming. We're going to talk a little bit about biomes. And we're going to talk about brass bullets, too. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Farming. You ever had a problem where you're placing down your crops and they just kind of go all weird? Because you aren't facing the exact directions. You're facing half directions, like northwest instead of north. That's what makes it all crooked. As for the extra dirt and when using a hoe, go ahead and place wooden frames in between your, your crops because you can't use the furrow in between the rows. Nothing can be planted there. So use wooden frames, use your construction skill to upgrade them once, which will raise that skill as well. Spawn in the desert or trap there, dying of thirst? Look at cactuses. If you got some jars, cut them down. You get fiber and you get yucca fruit. Take these glass jars and you can easily make water and it's a cooling agent too it takes four per glass jar easy peasy and it's the fastest way to get fibers too so you can spam items like uh, shirts or hoods that'll raise that skill as well brass brass should be stashed away from the moment you get in game if you find it squirrel it away stick it in the corner of your inventory and just forget about it and keep adding to it always breaking it down as you find it you can't raise the damage value of firearms unless you actually shoot bullets so either you're going to find a lot of handguns with handgun rounds and toilets, or you're going to have to find brass. And here's the breakdown. Brass can be found in quite a few places. These four left here can be found on just about any corpse or item or container. This can be found by breaking down cars. These are for bullet tips. These four can be found on buildings that either have a gold lantern in the front or back door. These all contribute to bullet casings and bullet tips, which help you to make bullets. Take that brass to the forge now. Make sure it's got fuel so you can make bullet tips and bullet casings. But you can't make either of them unless you have an anvil, calipers, and tool and die set. Make sure there's fuel in there. Once you melt it down, you'll be able to make bullet tips and bullet casings. Here's a breakdown of the bullets. With coal and nitrate, which can be found on random walks, you'll see them laying on the ground. You can collect them there. Make sure you grab them every single time and make lots and lots of gunpowder. On the left is the corresponding items. Gunpowder, 9mm, 10mm, 44s, 7.62s, slugs, shotgun shells, blunder busts, and rockets. With tape, if you don't have tape, get bones and water and make glue with some cloth and a fire. And voila. Well, Wastelanders, this is the end of episode 2, Brass. Hopefully it sheds some light on things and help those of you struggling out there make heads or tails of things. This is Solo Clone, the Savvy Survivalist, and we'll see you next time. Bye.